I wonder if anyone's going to throw things at me. So just, oh my god, I told you they're good. He tried to get me that time, but he didn't. He didn't get me with, what is this? Oh, it's the Baratza Single Dose Hopper that we're going to talk about today on FrenchPressCoffee.com. We've got a black and a white version today. And let's dive in and just talk about why this could change your coffee workflow. Before I dive into this, I'm just gonna mention real quick that the Baratza Gear single dose is going to come in at about 60 grams of coffee in its overall capacity, which is pretty great. That's actually quite a lot of coffee, I have to say, for just a very small apparatus. Now, we're going to assume that you have a Baratza grinder with the traditional hopper on top of it, and you're going to want to take that off. But before you do that, this is very important because I've made this mistake, make sure you don't have any beans in your hopper. And even if it looks clear, it's probably a good idea to go ahead and just run it for a moment. And that way you know that everything is cleared out and you can just kind of tap it. You can check your actual grounds container to see how much coffee may have come out, set that aside, etc. And then you can remove your hopper. And of course, making sure that there's no beans in there is important because when you take that off, all those beans are gonna go everywhere. So just an important note, I've made this mistake myself. Then you'll take your Baratza single dose hopper and there's a white line right here, a little hash mark. Take that hash mark and line that up with the small arrow on your grind level meter right here. Press down a little bit and just turn to the right. And you'll start to hear it clicking. And now that white hash line allows you to choose your grind level, which is useful. And of course, it also makes sure that you have lined it up properly in order to seat the hopper into your Baratza grinder. Now to measure out our coffee, I'm going to take the top off of the hopper and I'll just show you the inside real quickly there. Of course, this is pretty straightforward. That's where all your coffee is going to go, but using the top, the lid is going to allow you to measure it. I'm going to use my scale here. So I'll place this, make sure that I tap tear and I've got this set to grams. Now, as I was saying, this can hold about 60 grams of coffee. You of course can decide how much coffee you want to grind. And that is the beauty of the single dose hopper is that you can be really selective about how much you're going to grind. So we're at, we haven't done 60 grams, but we've got 35 grams of coffee. That should be pretty good. This is still enough to give us a really good cup. And this is useful. Again, it's going to kind of bridge the gap a little bit between single serve and brewing a whole heck of a lot of coffee. So now that we've measured, we'll just go ahead and pour into our single dose hopper. And then one thing I should also mention, it's on the back of the unit here, but you can see that there's a little notch cut out and you can just match that notch up with the little logo that says Baratza gear. And then that way you know that it's locked down, no grounds are gonna get out or anything like that. Once you've done that, you can just choose your grind level. So I'm gonna go for about 20 and then we'll just start grinding. All right, and we're done grinding. Now, I was pulling off the lid and checking a little bit as it went along, but I knew my grinder was done because the tone of it changed a little bit. And then once you've done that, that's our grind right there. Have to say, it's actually quite good. That's enough right there to make a decent French press of coffee. Now, the one thing I will say is that obviously I can't see into the unit while I'm grinding, so that does kind of not totally compared to the regular hopper because it's clear. So you just have to know when your grind is done. Even though you can't see into the single dose hopper, you do know how much coffee you measured out. And so that makes it pretty easy to know roughly how much you're going to get out once it has ground and finished grinding. Now, once you've done grinding and all of your grounds are in your hopper, maybe you've emptied your hopper, let's say that you wanted to grind a different type of coffee now using the use case scenario I was talking about earlier. Now you need to grind some dark roast for somebody as compared to your favorite light roast. Here's a quick hack. Take the lid of the single dose hopper, lift it up just a little bit and then press down. And you can repeat this a few times. And when you do this, that little bit of air pressure inside, and of course the fact that you're tapping it up and down, will finish off any of the other grounds that are left behind. So this way, you know that you're gonna get as much of the leftover coffee out of the way 
and then you can easily start grinding your next type of coffee for your significant other, someone in your house, your friends, or etc. So what's my bottom line with the Baratza single dose hopper? I think this is pretty cool. I haven't seen anything like this before, so it is a totally new product, and I always love cool new products, so I think that that's one very cool thing. It's rubberized on the top lid and that does allow you to get in a good grip on it. It does cut down on noise a little bit because the standard plastic hoppers that you get on most grinders, it is going to be a little noise, beans are bouncing around, things like that. So it is a little more quiet as a result. Uh, it does allow you, as I say, to be able to grind just the right amount of coffee, up to 60 grams, and that is really useful if you are, again, sharing a grinder with someone who doesn't drink the same type of coffee as you, or maybe you want to do different types of grinds and things like that, but you don't want to use up a lot of coffee. That's also going to help your coffee to stay fresh, because remember, it's not really good to just leave a bunch of beans in your traditional hopper. That just means that they're going to get stale more quickly, so this does allow you to get a good cup of coffee as a result. I think the only downside that I can see is, as I was saying, it's not clear, so you can't see into it while it's grinding, but that's not really a big deal because I think it would be hard to make this clear and keep the rubberized grip and feeling of it, so I can get past that. Overall, I think this is really cool. One other thing that I should mention is that it does fit all Barazza grinders except for the Seta. So if you have an Encore, a Virtuoso, a Virtuoso Plus, a Vario, or a Forte from Barazza, you can use the single dose hopper on any of those. The only one you can't is on the Seta. Um, but if you've got one of these grinders and you've been looking for a quick and easy way to be able to just grind as much coffee as you like, very cool way to do it. And the best part is, it's not a very expensive item to add to your at-home coffee shop. If you want to get it, check out the link in the description of our video. Jump on over to FrenchPressCoffee.com and we'll hook you up with the best coffee gear that you can get on the internet. So, there you have it everyone. That's the Barazza Gear uh, Barazza Single Dose Hopper. I hope you found this useful. If you have questions, comments, if we missed anything or you want to know more, leave a comment down in the uh, bottom section of this video or visit us at FrenchPressCoffee.com. As always everyone, I'm Brian with French Press Coffee. Com. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time and take care. Well, if you liked that highly captivating video, why don't you go ahead and give us a like and subscribe to our channel. The button is right there. I'll go ahead and wait. And if you do, I'll give you a nice coffee quote. Go on. Oh, awesome. Thank you so much. And now here's your coffee quote. Everybody should believe in something. I believe I'll have another coffee.